Welcome, today I'm going to show you how to build a, uh, my, a cockpit thing. Um, yeah, I mean cockpit thing. A plane. A basic plane. And then I'll show you, like, more complicated designs and how you can do that. And just, you could be completely whatever. Um, this thing, I like using this cockpit, but for, like, basic purposes, I'll use this one. This one's more of a cockpit. Like, you know, anyway. Um, you're gonna want a cockpit for one, you want your, or a drone, if you want to make a drone. Um, you're gonna want fuel, this stuff, Mark 1 fuel, unless you want to use the, the, um, adapter, the Mark 2 adapter, and to use these fuel tanks, or you just use the other, anyway, uh, you're gonna want fuel, and if you want to start off with the basic, just use two fuel cell, fuel cells, whatever you call these things, fuel, canis, whatever. And then use that. You want to use one of these two engines. This engine is really good at high altitude, at least from what I've heard. I mean, high altitude, high uh, speeds, like 300 over 300 meters a second. And this one, it's good to get like to you really fast. And I think you use more fuel. Or you can use this. Whiplash. If you want, you should probably just should use this because you can. And um, then you're gonna want to add your wings. Wings are probably the most important factor of, to a plane, otherwise it cannot fly. And in this part, you want to center of your center of mass and your center of lift. Okay, I did. And whenever you want to do this, you want to put it somewhere semi close to the center of uh, center of mass because what it's gonna do is in the center of mass, it's gonna I, I don't know, and just do that. Usually it works most of the time. It should work. And then you're gonna want to. And what I do is you don't have to do this all the time, but I like to because it makes me feel like it's an actual plane instead of like, I mean, some aircraft these days do have these, but I like using these parts. I don't know if these parts right here are part of the uh, mod or not. I'm not sure. Maybe I think this is like actually like yeah. So yeah. And this is pretty much what you can use. You can turn off these two crit stuff because you don't really need this. So you have a pretty much basic uh, thing. You don't, I mean, you'd almost do. You're missing a couple things. First, and some of the things you're going to want is ailerons, elevators, and a rudder. This is the rudder, this part right here, not what I'm holding, but this middle, this. This is the rudder, and these are the uh, elevators. And what I'm, what I'm about to put on is the ailerons. Elrons create roll, as well, and rudder creates um, yaw, and this creates pitch. And you're gonna want to use, you want to want to know that for later. Oh, I just tapped. <laughs> anyway, um, after you do that, you're gonna want to. I mean, you're gonna want some landing gear, looking in the exact opposite place, and you're gonna put it on one. Most suggest, what I suggest is usually just put one in the front like this. Could help. I don't know. But, and then later, you're going to want to probably put on this, but you're going to want to put these on the wings. It helps with stability reasons, and because it helps. It, it just helps. Uh, you don't want it, and that's what it's going to do. It's, it's hovering. It's going to bug me. Eh, it's good enough. And then now you have a pretty much basic aircraft. If you want to move this up, or whatever you need it to be. And that's pretty much a basic uh, aircraft. But you're missing, I almost forgot this, is you're bit missing one more thing as well. Jet engines have a special system as they use it to compare it to liquid fuel, if y'all don't know. Look, air, jet engines use air, it sprays water, water, sprays fuel combined with air, and then sparks it in a repeated process to create thrust. And that's what, that's what it does. And that's what you're gonna want. Is you guessed it, you want some of these things right here, air intakes. If you're only want to use this design, you're probably gonna want to use one of the vanilla ones if I can find it. Not those. These are vanilla. Uh oh, someone's playing in Pirates of War. You know, I'm gonna play that next. Make a video for y'all again because I can. <laughs> um, I think I have these, right? Yeah, you're gonna want to use these because they're cool. Might as well put two. But the thing about having a lot of jet engines is that you're going to want a lot of air intakes because, well, you want to. It's going to be most, uh, you're going to want to. So let's, uh, launch this thing. Well, yeah. Hopefully this works because I'm not sure. 
but sometimes they think game glitches out. Oh, okay, one more thing actually, but I'll just do it on the wrong way. Um, what I like to do whenever I make things and why I set these certain things, it doesn't matter if you're like that, you just have to be careful whenever you pitch up, but what I do is whenever I, I right click on this and I disable y'all in pitch, and you have to do it on the other side, but if you do it in the space plane hanger, then you don't have to, oh, they must have fixed that, but, and then you do, um, that, this one I disable y'all in roll, even though I think in real life jets have it for roll, and then I disable pitch and roll for this, and then I put on full throttle, SAS, because you never know what's gonna happen, and then you launch, it all matters what you use with this, uh, it all matters what you use with this, uh, landing gear, because if you have it too low, then the engine's gonna scrape whenever you press the fire button. My FPS is really low. Why? That's not right. Anyway, I don't know why my FPS is low. Why? I'm used to war thunder controls a little bit, even though I haven't played in a while. But whenever you want to take off, you only usually have about, like, a hundred meters a second, because it's good. But whenever you have big aircraft, you're probably gonna want to use, uh, RCS to take off, or you want to use it till the end of the runway. And now with the new update, you're gonna want. To, I think this can actually probably take off. With, there we go. And then there we go. Our aircraft is airborne. A little slow. Oh boy. That actually kind of sucks. Well, anyway, it flew for a little bit, but we can like add modifications and stuff. So, in the center of lift and are like a little off, you can move them up any way you want it. Like right there, looks funky though, but you can do it like that, or whatever. And that's what's gonna happen. And then you can launch. Could be all the placement of the uh, landing gears. T. Oh, it's not done. T. And then you can full throttle, and then you blast off. Full thrust. Go, 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 go. Didn't save. Oh well. Why not? Okay. Sometimes what happens whenever you, whenever you have the alien gear in the middle, it loses control whenever you get into high speeds. And whenever it gets to high speeds, your thing tends to do the jiggles, in other words, jiggles and it does all this other stuff you don't want it to do. And sometimes you can force it, well that one just decided to go up automatically, but so everything seems to be really slow for some reason. Well this thing, but it flies, and it flies and that's all that matters. So you got it uh, pretty good, I mean if you do this then you can start going on more complicated designs, but you always want to make sure that usually these things don't typically have like rip as easily whenever you pull high G's, but you always have to remember that whenever you pull high enough, whenever you get to a certain point, your wings will rip whenever you have certain joint parts. Like I'll show you if my other thing still flies because it was made in a previous update. But oh gosh, my dog. Excuse me, I need to talk. I have a wireless headset. I need to unplug it. Okay, go dog. No, you're not accepted in here for now because my lights off and you're gonna eat all my nerf parts. Go. Get out. No. Go. Go. Scash. Get out of here. Anyway, while my plane is going off into the sunset, and nothing's happening, and my, I'm sitting in a very awkward position. Anyway, and, uh, yeah. That's pretty much what you can do for an aircraft. You can end up adding, uh, air brakes to, like, slow yourself down or something, and then you can do whatever you want. And then you can go into, like, a vertical climb or something. And you can just do this, and you can stall out because you have, you, you're able to. So that's what you can pretty much do. So yeah, this is a very basic design. You can, you don't have to use these air vents or air intakes. You can use the other ones if you want. You don't have to use these. These are optional. I'm not forcing you to use this, but. Priorly, this is probably the most suggested if you just want to get used to the controls. So yeah, more complicated aircraft can get very complicated real fast if you decide to. Um, so yeah, 
um, more like big, big plane. These things are like really, really good. And I don't know if I have any other version. STO doesn't work, but big plane doesn't work because I know. But I guess I can load it and get a bit of modifications. But this thing is very complicated. I think the stations already get good. Um, I use boosters on this thing, and this thing would be able to go into space if it actually could, but I don't think it ever has been yet. And it's, yeah. I think I use the uh, default, um, whatever you call them, to. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's a glitch. Because I have this special mod where it makes, like, the engines look beautiful. And it's awesome. I don't know if I have RCS on this thing, do I? No, I think of my big play Mark II. I have RCS. As you can see, I have uh, boosters that are really loud. And I don't know if you can hear me. But I have boosters. Yay, go boosters. And those can just come off. Because, you know, I don't need them. And fly because they take up space. Don't worry, those are just the massive sound of my people. This thing has very lack of maneuverability. Oh, I did use these! Uh, anyway, so yeah. Lights. I have a lot of lights on the top of this aircraft. As you can see, this thing is very slow because it's very, 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 very big. Hey. Hey, I didn't want you. That's a glitch. Probably because I have 10 FPS. Which I don't know why I have such pretty. Oh. My controls are backwards. the end lights no now you go that way really you're just gonna freaking kill it you're gonna kill my plane see this is what I'm talking about is that this game glitches sometimes and decides not to do what you wanted to do and at the moment this thing this thing do that again and hopefully my game doesn't decide to glitch out if I click on the uh, landing gear so yeah I have more people on here <laughs> I just look over and she's like hi <laughs> that's what I said like she lip saying anyway uh, I do have a thing on here where it makes it look really cool oh that's what it is I always have this and I always put it like at 5.5 .5, or like very low thrust later in the uh, sh shooting and the oh, and that's also it. I don't have the engine, these engines on. <laughs> these boosters don't need to come on until later. And why is such low FPS? Why? I don't have any other game up, so I don't know why. Anyway, if there is any, other <laughs> Jesus Christ. So yeah, in mid-flight I shoot on these boosters for a lot of extra speed. This is what they look like, just on the runway, just straight forward. Press C. See, I turn on these engines very low so because they give us a lot more thrust. As you can see, see we're going a lot faster. And we also have a lot more maneuverability in a sense of yawing on the runway. So, yeah. Then I activate these thrusters. They fire. I don't pull up until later. Please turn this way. Don't go to that. Or I'm gonna do this. It's really hard taking off this thing. You have to understand that. Hey, okay. Um... It's hard to do this. So meanwhile, you're gonna see me constantly try and try and try to take this thing off. Sometimes.
sometimes I just decide to like put these on full thrust. Cause you know we like YOLO. And that's why I have it down like to like near nothing for these engines. Like 0.9 or 0.5, these barely use. Like this does have a little bit of uh, rocket fuel or whatever into it. Okay, there you go. Seems to be pretty well aligned. This thing does have a lot of oxygen uh, in stored in it for oxygen uses, and now I can use it for the oxygen and all that stuff. So I can, yeah. these because they are what they use on the shuttle. Meanwhile, I sit here. Oh god, no, 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 no. Oh shucks. Woo! Dun 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 Semi airborne. Oh. Give us extra thrust. Don't do that. And I should have used this differently because this thing is not designed for. Didn't want that to happen. There we go. This thing is airborne. This used to, I don't think this thing worked very well at all. But now it does, so that's all that matters. And it uses a whole butt ton of thrusters and it still is really slow. And I don't use this thing on full blast because this thing is made for it. Like, I could put this on like full blast, but it's gonna end up breaking. And I don't know if y'all are gonna see. Well, maybe we'll just go to space. Why not? <laughs> full thrust! And this is what it's gonna look like from space. Just nothing. <laughs> Just massive. I do have these uh, small thrusters for helping take off because I didn't know if I was gonna if I needed them or not. Didn't need them. So yeah. I'm gonna put down 32%. And the bad thing is, is that whenever these things go off, one of these side wing, one of these side engines on the wing go off from something, it is going to be mayhem. For example, if I do this, everything dies. Life learned lesson. And those are made for helping to take off. It doesn't do a very good job at So yeah. As you can see, a lot of things have uh, left. So yeah, that's what happens. That's why I don't uh, allow the this kind of behavior on my aircraft. <laughs> but that's why I don't typically... Like, wait, what was I saying? I forgot. Totally forgot. I'm like, I'm not even kidding. I forgot. So yeah, that's why you can end up making is these ridiculous things. I try to make like a, a multi-stage air, uh, aircraft. I mean, it's really hard to be able to do that, where it lays on top like a shuttle, and then it departs and goes into space. But it is significantly way too hard. Am I still going up? No, I'm not. Good. This going breaks. Lights. So yeah, that's why I typically just like So yeah So you can make very highly complicated aircraft like this stuff that makes it really hard to just take off One thing I don't like is like those things at the end of the runway those like little knobs those little lights at the end of the runway, they get me real mad. 
because it is just like way too just difficult. I mean, if you don't, if you hit one of them, your plane obviously is going down because most big planes like this need that whole runway. And if you go by that and you hit it, and it by the time you get over that and hit a runway, you're at 100 meters per second, and it doesn't feel good whenever you go 100 meters per second and hit a light bulb. I mean, it's just like in space. If you're in space and there's a little dime that someone decides to put out, but gravity decides to take it in and not take it into the, but speeds up the velocity. If it comes back and hits your spaceship, you're it's pretty much just a small projectile. That's why the next generation of weapons is gonna be using gravity. That's why you could just use a metal bar to destroy the whole uh, whole country if it's from space. They are really violent drivers. I just realized that. <laughs> just the, those people over there. So yeah. That's what my theory is. Is that the next generation of weapons is not going to be some other thing. It's going to be destruction and mayhem and using all this other stuff. So yeah. Thank you all for watching and uh, hope you all enjoyed and hope this found this a little useful. I'm not very good at these tutorial type of things because I'm not... I don't do them very well very often and I know a lot more about this game than I do most other games because most other games I don't know at all I mean some games like Unturned I suck at but I know a lot about it but I haven't made a video yet because I don't know what to make a video about because I don't have anybody to play with because everybody keeps breaking their bikes hint hint bike hmm so yeah I'll be more likely playing some more Empire Total War later in the next video, so thank you all for watching, and goodbye. Oh, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and if you uh, like the video, please like and find it helpful. You might as well like it as well. If you don't like it, then dislike it. I don't care. Well, I do. But if you don't, I mean, I care if you enjoy it. Never mind. I should just be quiet. But if you enjoyed it, like it. I'll surely appreciate it. If you didn't like it, I understand. I'm still new at this. Audio sucks, everything else sucks. So yeah, a lot of uh, people, I've been, I, I can't wait until I get to play some more stuff. I've been trying to get Minecraft content, but I don't like playing Minecraft, like multiplayer in particular, when I don't have a pause function, because it's hard, ha ha I pause the recording and I can re resume, because it's really hard to. So yeah, thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed, uh, like and if you like what I do then why not subscribe and thank you all for watching and have a great wonderful little day and um, or night and summer and hope the summer goes by really slow unless your job requires the summer like a teacher I mean most likely teachers are gonna be watching this because they'll be screaming in my face that I'm not doing anything of grammar wise right anyway thank you all for watching and goodbye and um, yeah